Hey guys, it's Fused Biscuits here. Now, I've heard, I've heard we had yet another ban list. So let's see how it goes. What's Konami got in store for us? Because, you know, there was that whole world's qualifier thing. And usually after a major event like that, they do release some kind of ban list. So let's see what Konami has in store. Oh, okay. Magic Spectre Unicorn. So, Magic Spectres have more support that has not been released in Master Door yet. So, Kirin being at 3 could be a hint that we are getting the Magic Spectre support sooner rather than later. Let's see. Oh, okay. Cash Terra birth going back to 3. I don't know about this one, man. I mean, Cash Terra's. They're, they're not really that fun, to be honest. And it's not like they're hurting right now. They're not the best, of course, that's to be sure, but I mean, but I mean, they were splashable in some stuff, you know, they're not completely out of the game, and the Cash Tira as a deck is just not that fun, right, it locks you out of the graveyard, there aren't that many interactions to it, basically, it's a deck where you either draw the out, and there are a lot of outs, or you just get completely screwed, so I'm not really sure if I agree with them putting one of their best secondary options back to three so you got yata garasu coming back to three uh, i mean the yata lock used to be op but you know not anymore obviously so yeah that can come back to three and it's not going to really do anything much uh oh tell night Paulette. okay well i can't say the name but this thing i think at one point it got banned because this thing makes three level fours into any rank five no matter how hard that rank 5 is to summon so it used to be kind of dangerous like it can also detach 7 to skip a turn but that's not really what it was used for however i don't really know any rank 5s that would even be worth it right i mean you do essentially you can use two rank 4s to make it but you're pretty much going to have to use three every single time if you want to actually do something with this card so i don't think this coming back to three is actually going to do much but you know i could be wrong and let's see what else we have ah okay bonfire to two you know 100 percent deserved you know, in fact i think this probably should have just gone to one i think it's only getting hit so lightly because it's a ur otherwise it definitely should be at one because during this when you're playing snake eyes it's so disgusting right like it's not even just the search, like it just extends your plays, putting it at 2 just makes it a bit more sacky, so you don't draw it as much, but you can still draw it sometimes, but if I'm being honest, it was kind of a sacky card already, so you know, it is what it is. Anyway, ah, oh, Zeus going back to 2, I'm not really sure if I agree with this one, I think that Zeus at 1 was like the perfect amount when you start to have multiple zeus is when this thing can get a bit obnoxious zeus is fine when once it's gone it's gone but if there's a chance for a follow-up zeus there are going to be situations where you remove the zeus you can't kill the opponent and then your opponent just makes another one and at that point you are in a very bad spot so you know this one is kind of risky i don't really agree with it but maybe it won't do too much damage a oh okay race race is going to two okay so airlifter is the one card starter for that deck right it's like the it's the best normal summon they have this thing going to two really does hurt race and although it doesn't do as well on ladder it actually did do good in worlds it is a hard deck to use i say it's a bit more predictable than snake eyes which is why i prefer pure snake eyes to this but if it's doing well of course Konami's gonna hit it you know good job on them they're seeing what's doing well what's not what needs to get hit and what doesn't need to get hit and rescue ace has been around for quite a while which also explains the bonfire as well because those two are used in the same deck so i i think i see the target of their hits now i think they just wanted to hit the rescue ace snake eyes but i don't know man i don't think rescue ace really had its time now uh, oh pirelli Damn, Pirelli Lee's going to two. Okay, so with this, they now have two of the dark one and two of the light one. So you only have like four level ones now. Okay, so I think what this is going to do, first of all, it's going to eliminate that whole ghost trick 
double noir stuff because to actually pull it off it does need you to summon a lot of level ones and now that you only have four i imagine that getting all of those onto the field is going to be a huge issue they're mostly going to turn away from the ghost trick stuff at least a little bit and focus more on that draw six on your opponent's turn combo even without the ghost tricks this deck does have a grind game problem because a lot of the time when you play Pirellis you will find yourself running out of level 1's to summon. There are now going to be loads of situations where you can't do anything until the trap shuffles back your stuff. Okay, cards to be put to 1, we have Summon Limit. Hella well deserved man. Oh my days, like this thing, <laughs> this thing sucks. Like, I, I'll be honest. It's not a good card going second. It's basically only good going first. Now, this thing isn't that bad compared to some of the other floodgates out there because this thing actually does give you some wiggle room but like it's easy to surprise people with it and as the game goes on and it gets faster and faster this thing is just going to get better and better so you know putting it to one right now was definitely the call in fact I wouldn't even be mad if you banned it it's kind of toxic at this point like, I think it does need to go oh cars to be banned Kaiser Colosseum got banned. Thank gosh. In fact, I don't even know why this thing was still here. Like, I'm pretty sure the TCG had it banned for ages. I think the OCG just recently banned this. And uh, all I have to say is, how did this take you so long? <laughs> why was this thing around for so long, man? I, I don't understand it. Like, thank gosh they banned it now. Another card going to zero. Catapult Turtle. I have mixed feelings about this because I understand it's a practice in the OCG to like ban these cards that can just keep on tributing to damage over and over and over again but like when you actually think about it how much does this thing have to tribute to actually be good for it to actually be good it has to deal like the finishing blow there's no point doing 5,000 6,000 damage right you you basically need to be doing the full 8k for this thing to actually be good and in terms of how much it has to tribute what is tributing has to add up to about 16,000 attack now let's just say the average attack of a monster that you're tributing this is 3,000 just to highball it because most monsters don't have 3,000 attack but let's say they do this thing would have to go minus 6 at the very least right? because this thing would have to tribute 6 3k monsters in order to kill if something like this is good then you really should be banning what's enabling this right? because any deck having like a summon catapult turtle as 6 monsters and can do it consistently I don't know man that just sounds stupid and then my worst is I'm gonna summon a big monster then you have to be able to summon a monster you can't do that you basically have to summon 6 separate big monsters in order to kill now there are cheesy combos where you give something a massive amount of attack and then use this to tribute that monster but you know again at that point how is this thing that good i'm looking at the tcg it's not banned in the tcg it's only banned in the ocg and here and i don't know if this is even a good call right because i think the ocg like when it comes to bans it's just it's a bit lazy that there are some clear issues with combo but instead of actually hitting those issues on the ban list they just keep maxi around and hope that maxi is going to fix all their issues and i don't think that's the way you should be going about it right because how on earth can something like catapult turtle be good but anyway like, what did you guys think about the ban list was it good i know there were some hits on there that i liked but also some hits that i didn't like Tell me what you think in the comments below and goodbye.